Hi, this is Multi Topic Talk. Welcome to this new video where we will be playing Advance Wars Black Hole Rising. We will be doing the first part of the Green Earth uh, Factory. So, since it's a very long map and game, I will be dividing the map in two parts. And each part will be around 30 to 40 minutes. So let's do this. I will, in this map, either you take Drake or Eagle for Green Herd. I will be taking Eagle because he's just cooler. And as a range star, either you take Max or Andy. Sunny is really weak, so I will be taking Andy. And there you have two choice. Either you take Bambai like I always do or you take Sonja. Sonja has cheaper units so that's her advantage. However Kambai is uh, more like a heavy soldier so you will have more toughness. Uh, Sensei is out of the picture for this one mainly due to the fact that uh, Yellow Comet usually use uh, ground units and uh, we know in this game since he has only stronger uh, air units, his naval and land units are weaker. So just picking him is a bad choice itself. So I will be taking Kambai. something about this map. If you just try to force your way in, you won't make it. Because as you can see, he has a base here, an airport, and very fast you will get that base and that harbor. So, basically what I usually do, I use um, Eagle make money and make only air units that's why I picked him over uh, someone like Drake because in this map naval are good but the map is too huge and they don't have good mobility if you want for example a battleship it's only five space with Drake so since the map is big it will be hard to make those battleship worth it so well, basically Ego, in my opinion, was just a better pick. And the other reason to get Drake, for example, for those who like Drake, is seal power is very effective because he will force uh, Hawk to build ABC or Hawk will run out of fuel very fast because that's a huge map. And if you spam your seal, you will be running all the fuel on that. So, we just build a little infantry. That map looks a lot scary, but it's not that bad. You just need technique. It's not a, a stern map, it's just a complicated arc map. And arc is at its peak right now. I will tell you why, why right now he is at his peak, in my opinion. Uh, basically, uh, right now, Hog has three opponents. And the more opponent Hog has, the stronger he is. Now you see, first turn he has already two bombers. Yeah. That's the main part factory for you. Now I will be sending that unit here. I will be blocking the bridge. And let's make some money.
And also, uh, just to let you know, don't think about picking Jess for this one. Jess is just bad in this map because it's too big and there's so many choke points. To wipe out her unit uh, because of those choke points, it's a bad idea to pick Jess. Now I don't think. Oh, wow, okay. I was about to say you can have to do any unit with this factory, but I was wrong. The god in man can be transport vector, actually, transport vector, okay. This map, you really need to know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, that map is not that hard. So now it's the right moment to launch the first silo. That fighter is mainly for those bombers coming my way. Gambi, most of the time you will save money because all of these units are hitting fast. So, he's approaching with all of his units. That's another occasion to use silo on him. Okay, so we'll be able to shut down that recon. I did not move my uh, fighter because I know it's pointless one so. Now I will be shutting down his small army with that silo. Now pretty much all of his units at that point are useless. So now I will be sending back my lander. Now that will be the right moment to send my fighter around a range star. My fight fighter being around 
will make this harder for my opponent. So, I will be building another fighter. One good way to do this map always have two fighter and two bomber. Because basically when you will use a seal power, you will cripple your units, but you will be able to fuse them so you will regain money and you will be able to buy new ones. That's very the the, the best way to do that map. So See, I have a lot of money for standby. Very soon, I will be producing on my island a few stuff to help me out win this. Two stars already. Oh, two bottle capture, one rocket. Okay, so now my tank will go in the on the CD so I will recover the Actually, we have two fighter and go off, which is great for us. They will go around the orange star troops. Now I will be saving money again. So that fight, that bomber here is done, and I will be capturing the base up there. Ending me that airport here because it will be able to build a few uh, transport factories. We will need that later on the game.
now can buy is able to produce him up here. Now he has a Mia tank with his factory. I think during uh, the art campaign I was never able to really uh, do a rank in this map. My eye has to follow the field. That's the only factory I cannot go further than me. I got a rank in each other factory before. So I think right now will be my first B rank of this campaign. But I'm not sure, we'll see. I don't think it was like each grade. Still being like more than a month we started this let's play. Been a while. So now it's gold bumper time. Now I will be sending over the anti-air here as a shield to capture. Now I will be using both of those and here I have, I will build a new one after that. Actually, I will be building this. Actually, I will build a medium tank instead. Now I kept my infantry inside the lander because he can have his seal power just uh, 
Bumper was in range of my vision tank, he should have been inside. Spectator use is seal power. Now I will be using my seal power
Part one will be around 14 minutes. We are almost uh, by the end of it. Oh, I forgot the other rocket there. Bam, bam. I completely forgot the rocket. But I have the advantage because mine is on the base. Mine can recover each faster than me. The only way to recover is to use two of this or use uh, this skill power. But the say is 5 star away from it, so it's not for now. Another anti because I need a You see by going there I'm safe. Now I need a lot of fighters Because I want to use my fighters to protect my bombers
Now it's a hard question what I got. Yeah, we'll do this. Make him weak here. Look here. Oh, it's in range. That means trouble. He has a seal power. Another bumper, wow. But now that's bad because the bomber is spinning for my bunker. placing my unit here that way next turn I will be sending two B cups uh, transport capture with infantry and those to capture what we got in the island green earth will take the airport while orange star will take the arbor Now let's use that seal power, shall we?
now let's drop off those units. I will need another 80 units up there because my Nia tank will probably be the target. Yellow Comet is the last turn of this part, so let's attack this. It did work, that's good. Now it's saving money turn. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment and subscribe. That was part 1. Part 2 will be up soon and we will we will be ending uh, on part 2, so we just got another glitch, so yeah, have a great day, like, comment, and subscribe.